Our fans, here we go, presenting an outstanding oriental boxer from Seoul, Korea. He weighs in at 134 pounds, white trunks with a black stripe. He is rated number four junior lightweight in the world, a veteran of 48 professional fights. Here is So Kang Il. As his opponent this evening wearing black trunks and a white stripe fighting out of the black corner from Long Beach, California. The world's most promising young lightweight out of the great championship stables of Jackie McCoy. 132 and a quarter undefeated Mondo Ramos. Giving you instructions in the dressing room, so unless any of you have a question, we're just going to shake hands and come out boxing. No questions, shake hands and come out boxing. All right, the instructions from referee George Latka the first of 10 rounds, Mondo Ramos, a pound and three quarters lighter in the dark trunks at 132 and a quarter, Su Kang Il at 134 in the light trunks. Many have confused the Korean's last name as being Su Kang the second. It looks almost that way, but his last name is Il, I-L. Su Kang Il, and a very strong backing here in the Los Angeles area. Large Oriental population for the Korean. And impressive credentials in the light trunks. Il has won 66. He's lost only six with two draws. He's 23 years old. Ramos, the young Cinderella, he's 18 years old, fought 17, won all 17, 13 by knockout. Here on our telecast from the Olympic, you've seen Ramos and impressive victories over Len Kesey, Petey Gonzalez, Ray Echeverria, all ranked in the world ratings at that time. Two of the three in the top ten. Ramos wants to be a world's champion before he's 20. And certainly if there ever was one fight in his young career that would determine whether he's ready for that opportunity, this is it. He's meeting a man of the same size. Both are very tall for junior lightweight. They're both near five feet, nine inches tall. Nick, although both of them weighed over the junior lightweight limit this evening, that's 130 pounds, the limit. So Kang Il weighed 134, and Mondo weighed 132 and one quarter pounds. So Kang holds down the number four slot among the world's junior lightweights, while Mondo is rated by Ring Magazine and in the number four spot. The Korean has impressed local boxing buffs who have watched his workouts. And now he's attempting to impress young Ramos and is hurt. Ramos, for one of the few times and perhaps the only time we've ever seen him not fight back furiously when he had taken some solid punches. Very impressive first round for Su Kang Il in the light trunks. Firing and scoring with the left hand.
Brown two and they're both out in a hurry. Ramos in the dark trunks. Sue or Sa Kang Il of Korea in the light trunks. And Il had this big crowd of over 10,000 buzzing between the first and second rounds as they all were most impressed by his awesome first round as he handled Ramos with relative ease. A redness around the right eye of Sook King, Dick. Nothing serious, but we'll watch it closely. Hill has defeated one of the men that share the Junior Lightweight Championship of the world. Yohashi Namada, Namada of Japan. Namada, along with Raul Rojas of San Pedro, California, both claim the Junior Lightweight Championship of the World. And this fellow, Su Kang Il, has beaten Namada. And Ramos doing most of the catching. Amazing speed of hand by the Korean lad, Dick. Going to the body. And now it's Ramos scoring. One minute remaining in round two. Now, well, what do you notice or not, Dick? But these young guys are wearing different brands of boxing gloves. Mondo Ramos is wearing the Flores glove, manufactured up in uh, San Francisco, while the Korean boy is wearing the Serra gloves from Mexico. The reason for Mondo wearing the Flores gloves is because he prefers them to any other makeup glove. bleeding at the nose. Final seconds tick off in round two. Ramos in the dark trunks risking his unbeaten string of 17 in a row against polished Korean Sook Kang Il. And through the first two rounds Ramos has been a stable target for the boxing prowess of Il who has flashed extremely quick hands. He's been in with the best in the Orient. Solid right hand. Ramos landing with both the right and left, but Hill seemed to accept it extremely well. That was the best punch of the fight. The right and then followed by the left. But Hill has shown that he can take Ramos' best and come right back. Dick, one thing we've noticed about the Korean lad must be careful coming out of those clinches because he starts firing as he pulls back he starts firing with both hands. Brought a cheer from the crowd but it was blocked by the glove of Hill. Oh what a chin has Sook Kang.
We're in the final minute of round three. Sellout crowd of over 10,000. And Sue Kang Hill in the light trunks from Korea, very impressive, winning the first two rounds in this reporter's eyes. And it wasn't until the middle of this round that Ramos unloaded the best combination of the fight. The right followed by the left. Ramos in the dark trunks not moving well in the early rounds and so Kang Hill only 23 years old from Korea completely outboxed him. But here in the third round Ramos has held his own and has landed the heavier punches. Good right hand underneath by Ramos. And he hurts Hill with that right hand. The Korean hanging on at the end of round three. round four again repeating the instructions given in the corner of the Korean they were concerned with his lifting his head as he was delivering a punch and providing a better target for Mondo Ramos on the counter Dick we just received word from the box office are you ready for this 50,899 bucks. That's the gross for tonight's fight. Attracted here by an 18 year old teenager, Mondo Ramos in the dark trunks. It's been an amazing story, and he's in tough now. But since round three has opened up rather well and has scored and has slowed up the attack of the Korean. Hill is not regarded as being a heavy puncher, but he certainly has looked strong in the early going. Quite a story on this young man, Dick. His folks were killed in the Korean conflict, and he was raised by G.I. In fact, it was an American soldier who started in boxing, later to turn him over to the special manager. Kim Jong-ho. Checking Hill's record of his 66 victories, only eight have been by knockout. So he is not known for his punching power. He's lost only six times with two draws. He came to Los Angeles originally to fight Raul Rojas for the junior lightweight title, but Rojas became ill. His stablemate, Mondo Ramos, said, I'll substitute. And like that, the match was made, and Ramos had jumped into the biggest fight of his young career. And ill has shown why it's so important to Ramos. This is one of the outstanding boxers in the world, Su Kang Il of Korea. Although, uh... So Kang seems fresh at the moment, Dick. He's breathing quite heavily. That left hook was solidly landed on the jaw of Hill. Good right hand by the Korean as it came over the top. As the final seconds tick off in round four. five we near the halfway mark of this 10 rounder Mondo Ramos in the dark trunks so Kang Il of Korea in the light trunks Nick between rounds we check with three uh, writers here at ringside this evening Bud Perillo the sports editor of the Herald Examiner has to score two to one in, in favor of Ramos John Hall of the Los Angeles Times so Kang Il 2-0 Jack Disney of the Herald Examiner has about even. So differing views, and of course it's early, and it's close.
perhaps the one single punch that has been most effective for Ramos has been a left hook to the body. He has not landed that punch effectively against Ill tonight. Ill has scored well to the body. Example, Dick, you must be careful with this fellow, Slo Kang, coming out of the clinch because he'll really nail you. You have to have your hands up. Good example. That's right. Good left hook by Hill. One of his best punches. 40 seconds remaining in round five. George Latka, the referee, letting him fight out of the ins inside, out of the clinches. Well, they're at the halfway mark. That's the end of round five. And again, appreciative applause from this sellout crowd as we view the two corners on our split screen. Dick, first let's go to the corner of the fighting Korean, Sook Kang Il. Facing him is his uh, manager and trainer and faithful friend, Kim Joon Ho from Seoul, South Korea. Leaning in from outside of the ropes is uh, house fan Larry Soda along with George Yashinaga. And to the other corner, the boy from Long Beach, California, was getting his severest tester this evening, Mondo Ramos. Facing him, Jackie McCoy along with co-manager Lee Prela and Jake Chagru. comes out and works on the body. And unlike in the earlier rounds, Ill now is moving in closer and tying up Ramos. In the first two rounds, he stood back and peppered him with left and right hands. Scored very impressively. Right hand to the body, left to the head. Ramos scoring well with both. And Ill back with his own combination. And Dick uh, Ill has been involved in 72 fights. This is the 73rd fight this evening. His manager tell, tells us he has never been off his feet. He's shown us that already. He's taken Ramos's best shots and hardly flinched. Ramos evidently under instructions from his corner to go to the body because he's concentrating downstairs in round six. One minute gone. by Ill as he jerked the head of Ramos with that last right hand. Slight puffiness around both eyes of the Korean boy. No serious injury, however, on either fighter's face. Just the wear and tear of this fast tempo. Remaining in round six. Wow. 
backing away, Dick, and he gets off a fine left-right combination. Six was a good one for the Korean. Until now. seven and again both fighters off their stools and walking toward each other before the bell rang the rhythmic applause from upstairs is for the local favorite Mondo Ramos as his fans attempt to spirit a rally from the 18 year old whiz right hand by Ramos downstairs. Oh, beautiful boxing by the Korean right and left of the head backing away and perfectly executed. Very easily see Dick how this young fighting Korean It would appear that Ramos is most effective when he can go downstairs. Ill responding in pain much more when Ramos goes to the body and he is bringing that guard lower and lower. And that provides an opening such as that one that uh, Ramos landed there with the right hand. One minute remaining in round seven. Seventh round's been a sizzler. to go. <laughs> Round eight. And the Korean following instructions out quickly with a charge. All right, we checked with all of the ringside scribes and it is extremely close in their eyes. Hafner has it 3-3. Disney 4-3 Ramos. Ferrillo 3-3. All of the times 4-3 for Su Kang Il. Derslag 4-3 for the Korean. Sid Ziff and Jim Murray of the LA Times 4-3 for Ramos. And on down the line. 3-2 says Taylor of the Long Beach Independent. Alan Malamo the examiner 4-3 for Ramos. Bob Myers of AP 4-2 for Su Kang Il, he's the only scribe who has one fighter head by more than one point. So it would figure that it has to be extremely close, and these final three rounds will determine the winner. Mondo Ramos, as close as he's ever been to defeat, 
against a highly skilled, very impressive 23-year-old from Seoul, South Korea, Su Kang Il. A mouse under the left eye of Su Kang. Chen Dick. This man can really catch, as they say, around the boxing feet. One minute remaining in round eight. Scheduled for ten. So Kang Hill, the Korean in the light trunks. Scoring well in the flurries. Ramos with the heavier punches, especially effective to the body. In the eyes of more than 10 newspaper men covering this fight, it's dead even. Half of them for Ramos, half of them for Su Kang Il. They all have the fight advantage by just one point. It's that close. Su Kang Il landing with the right hand. Neither fighter seriously marked. It's been an extremely fast tempo. Much to the delight of more than 10,000 fans. Final seconds now of round eight. stretch we'll see if one of them goes through the whip here tries to rally for the victory Mondo Ramos in the dark trunks although the hometown favorite a slight underdog to the more experienced So Kang Hill and Hill gets off with a good combination Mixing his punches up very well, Dick. First to the body, then to the head. That's right, Nick. It appears that Ramos is looking for the one big punch, and while he's looking and trying to set it up, Hill is taking pot shots and scoring well with both hands and piling up points in the process. Halfway through round nine. the better of the exchange and he continues to fire and score Not loaf at any time with this young fighting Korea. 
just keeps whacking away every second. Although Ramos is a big favorite here in Los Angeles, his thousands of fans have gained more and more respect for So Kang Hill, and they fully appreciative of his talents. That's the end of round nine. The final three minutes, it's close enough that under the California scoring system, a big round for either man could win the fight. Mondo Ramos dark trunks, So Kang Hill in the light trunks, and regardless of who wins the fight, it has been a crowd pleaser. George Latka warning the Korean. Mondo walking in, Dick, trying to swipe this last round. Ramos being out-muscled inside, however, and the Korean able to ward him off. right by Kang. Very impressive the way So Kang Hill has scored so crisply clean punches. Halfway through the final round. The hand clapping is not meant in the usual way that let's have more action because it's been a dull fight. It's directed toward Mondo Ramos. His fans want him to open up and try to score enough to win this 10th round. One minute remains. They're both tired, and understandably so. Thirty seconds remaining. Listen to the cheer now at the final bell, and how deserved it is. There's Mondo Ramos. 17 in a row at the age of 18. Did he lose his first? It certainly was his toughest test and saw Kang Il across the way impress this big crowd with his great boxing ability and his iron-like jaw as he took the best young Ramos could throw and did it without a backward flinch. Regardless, Los Angeles fans have to hope the Korean lad stays around. We'd like to see him again. Good looking youngster. He's only 23 and he's fought 73 times, losing only six, and you know why now. Ranked number four going into the fight. Ramos across the way was ranked third. According to the newspaper men, it is extremely close. 
Ramos nervously pacing in front of the ropes on the near side as he awaits the decision. Referee George Latka, the judges Dick Young and John Thomas have scored their cards, and here's the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, before reading the decision, we know you have rendered an opinion of a great fight by the coins you've thrown into the ring. We also want you to cheer the winner, applaud the loser, regardless of who you think wins, regardless who is the winner, let's be good sports. Ladies and gentlemen, Dick Young and ringside sees it six to four. It is a unanimous decision. John Thomas at ringside scores it five to four. Your referee, George Latka, sees it five to four, like Judge Thomas, unanimously the winner, Sue Kyle. <laughs>